more than seven decades after the relevant Martin Luther King Jr. lived, studied and preached in Boston, the city will soon have a memorial honoring him and his wife Coretta Scott King, who met each other there. While countless monuments around the nation already memorialize King for his civil rights work, the Boston structure is meant as a tribute to both he and Coretta Scott King. It's intended to be a symbol of love as much as one of equity, inclusion, belonging and justice, says Amari Paris Jeffries, executive director of King Boston, the nonprofit behind the project. The 22-foot-tall bronze sculpture of the couple's arms intertwined, called The Embrace, was inspired by a photo of the two hugging after King won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. Designed by Hank Willis Thomas, a prominent black artist, the structure will be surrounded by a circular quilt of grass and stone triangles that will also celebrate 65 other Bostonians involved in civil rights. At a groundbreaking on Wednesday, on what would have been Coretta Scott King's 95th birthday, Paris Jeffries said the completed memorial will be unveiled on Martin Luther King Day, in 2023. It's a dream come true to make this real, he said. It's about saying Boston is a city, where, all of us belong. This is such joy, Marie St. Fleur told the crowd gathered for a ceremonial groundbreaking. A Haitian immigrant and former prosecutor and state representative who was one of the monument's early organizers. St. Fleur was elated at the message the monument would send to people of color in her neighborhood of Boston. It's our park too, she said. And we wanted to see ourselves in this park. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu, the daughter of Taiwanese immigrants, struck a similar note, saying she has known what it's like to feel like she didn't really belong in certain public spaces. She said the monument would reinforce that Boston is a city for everyone, and a city that will wage war against injustice and racism in all its forms in every corner, but also doing so from a place of love. The embrace is the first significant monument of this scale to be added to the Boston. It comes just a year and a half after a statue was removed from a nearby park amid complaints that it was demeaning to African Americans. Emancipation Group, a replica of Freedman's Memorial in Washington, D. C. S. Lincoln Park, was meant to pay tribute to President Abraham Lincoln and the Emancipation Proclamation he signed freeing the slaves. But many bristled at the depiction of a formally dressed Lincoln towering over a servile looking, mostly undressed black man with broken shackles rising from his knees, as the city of Boston described it in a post soliciting public input on what to do with the statue. The statue also depicted a whipping post and chains, 